back to another episode of Challenger Life. So this morning we're here at Cronin Yard in order to take on this. We're ready for Karen Tool. Karen Tool, Ireland's highest mountain, is located in the beautiful county of Kerry. The mountain itself is situated right at the heart of the magnificent McGillicuddy Reef, a mountain range that boasts the highest peaks in Ireland. Cairn Tool has an epic panorama from the top with mythical lakes, sharp jagged cliffs, dangerous rivers and powerful scenery. It's a fabulous place to go hiking. Our starting point was the brilliant Cronin's Yard, a place I'd highly recommend for you to start from Cronin's Yard. It's about 3k to the turnoff for O'Shea's Gully. So as I mentioned, we're doing Cairn Tool today, and this is our final challenge. This is the final challenge of the Eight Peak Mountain Challenge, and as you can see on the wall, there has been a number of deaths here. This place can be treacherous, it can be dangerous. We came down here a couple of weeks ago and we weren't even able to climb it because of the, the extremely bad conditions. And, you don't want to be doing a mountain like this, as dangerous as it is, and risking not just your life, but the life of Kerry Mountain Rescue and the other mountain rescue services around the country. The feeling, really, excited anticipation to get it done. Can't wait to get up there. As you can see, there's cloud cover at the moment, but we're hoping with the sun at our backs, by the time we get up there So these two bridges have very uh, sad significance as uh, two people died uh, One I believe uh, on a hike, the other uh, I believe uh, kayaking down the river um, Before the bridges you just had to get across stepping stones rivers can flood very very quickly especially in these mountainous areas especially at places as wild as this first two and the hike's teeth Just past the gate on your right, you'll see some steps. Take those for O'Shea's Gully. Caution is needed on this route, as you'll come up against some steep rock faces. You'll see some eroded trails that go along the river. Follow them until you reach the third tier, where you'll find the lake at the top. So the approach we're going to take in, we're going up O'Shea's Gully and coming down the ladder, which is down there. If you want to take the approach to O'Shea's Gully, which is a less, more, uh, a less traveled route, uh, take these steps just as you pass the gate. The hag's teeth in all their white pearly glory.
when you get up to this point, it's time for a steep ascent. So Caratool is the last mountain on the 8 Peak Mountain Challenge. If you want to check out my other videos, check out my channel. And if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and give us a like. You just don't really know what's above there. Sharp, sharp jagged rocks. It looks so menacing, it looks so deadly, lethal. Luckily enough, we're climbing there and not there. This place isn't really mentioned in any of the histories of Ireland. It's not mentioned in any, any of the mythologies. Unlike the likes of Cropatrick or Aragal, who have grounded mentions in the mythologies, and of course St. Patrick. But this place doesn't seem to get a mention until much later on. But I can't help but feel its, its mythical presence. It has a real strong mythical quality to it. And probably should have got some mention in some folklore some, or some tale. And perhaps it did. Perhaps the great story of Karen Tool has been lost to time. From the lake, you bear left up the slope of O'Shea's Gully. This slope has a lot of loose screed and you can easily lose your footing. Stay on the right, from the call at the top, take a left, you'll pass over broken rock until you start to see the cross. Head towards the cross and you've reached the top of Carantool. Taking shelter here in the wind shelters. We've redone it, we've reached the top. Woo! Uh, tough old slog getting up uh, O'Shea's Gully. Um, getting along then, we kind of lost the path a bit coming up to the top. But uh, reached the top, there's the cross. Of course, that cross was uh, erected originally in the 1950s. And they changed it to uh, a metal one in 76 and in 2014 somebody cut it down and they've uh, put one back up again there are no easy routes off cairn tool as you're leaving the top follow the cairns and the eroded path that bear off to the left follow that path for roughly about one kilometer and then turn left down the ladder now the devil's ladder is a dangerous descent and ascent once you get down to the bottom of it, follow the path between the two lakes and enjoy the scenery as you march your way back to Cronin's Yard to complete your journey. So there's no easy way off Karen Tool. We decided to go down. Devil's Ladder. For sheltered as this is, it's extremely slippy and real caution has to be taken whether you're going up or down it. Um, but soon uh, there's plans to make, make steps out of this. It's all going to be closed off this. So we're going to be some of the last people to go up and down the original uh, Devil's Ladder. It's all going to be made, it's all going to be done up into steps. And uh, well, seeing how dangerous it is, I, I, I can totally understand why.
devil's ladder. Yeah. So it's a funny thing, we were just up there not too long ago. This here is Cali Lake and this area boasts a number of beautiful lakes. But uh, this one for me in particular is something special. It's probably my favourite lake that I've seen so far. Just the, the strong mythical vibe you get from it. You have water and of course back in ancient times people believed that lakes and water were doorways to the underworld. I can just imagine them sacrificing weapons and shields and even, maybe even people. I just find it very hard to believe, even though Karen Tool wasn't really mentioned in, in, in many histories. I find it so hard to imagine that this place wouldn't have been important for the local people. So that's us finished, uh, finally completed. This challenge is finally over. We've made it safely back to Cronin's yard. Happy Paddy? Yeah, very. <laughs> we've got our scones, we've got our tea, and we're super happy. Listen, uh, I'd like to thank everybody who's watched the videos. Um, keep watching, keep subscribing, and um, can't wait to start the new challenge. Okay guys, take care and goodbye.